Welcome to Once Upon a Crime, stories from the underbelly of a faraway land where not every story has a happy, happily ever after. Tonight's scandal, crime, gossip and the weather. I'm Emma. And I'm Kiara. Our first story... Who is afraid of the big bad wolf? The famous villain is huffing and puffing. After being arrested today, accused by the three little pigs, deliberately breathing heavily on their houses until they fell down. A lawyer for Mr Wolf claims that hay fever is to blame and that his client is a victim of negative media hype. Here's our reporter, Chazza, with more. I'm here in the faraway jail with the big bad wolf. <clears throat> Mr Wolf, you've been charged with the destruction of houses. How do you feel about these accusations? I do not care. You've been caught impersonating both a grandma and a sheep. Who is the big bad wolf, really? Me. What do you have to say to the good people of faraway land who think you're nothing but a dangerous criminal? They can think what they want to think. Well, thank you for those good thoughts, Mr Wolf. Good luck with the trial. Back to the... Now for news of escaped, kidnapped heroes Hassel and Gretel. Our, their stories captured the hearts of the nation, national, national and caused a media frizzle last year. They have spent spoken out from the first time about their order, ordeal in their new book, Black Birds Ate Our Black Bird Breadcrumbs. The Hassle and Gretel story. Our reporter Chesa has was at the book books release in the deep dark forest the scene of our their terrible tale hello i'm chazza and with me are hansel and gretel you're obviously very rich now having found all the jewels in the old witch's house how do you plan on spending all that money a brand new mansion with a golden toilet buying a house for my brother is far away a way as possible. Hansel and Gretel, you're in great shape after being fattened up for eating. How did you do it? Um, working protein powder and working out. A lot of yoga. What have you learned through this experience? Money doesn't buy you happiness, but protein powder and working out does. My brother is so annoying and he stinks. Well, thank you for your time. Good luck with your ongoing recovery. Back to you at the studio. Finally, there's a wicked whisper in the woods that all is not well with the marriage of the celebrity couple Beauty and the Beast. After failed plans to start a fashion line and poor sales of their album of duets, sources are saying that Happily Ever After might not last not much longer. We now go to our reporter, Lockie. Thanks, Emma, and hello, everyone. I'm Lockie here in the beautiful mansion of Beauty and the Beach, and hello and smooches to you too. Now, yours was a classic love story where two opposites fell in love against the odds. How's it going for you two? Well, you might know me as a beautiful young woman who fell in love with a giant bob of fur. But don't listen to the stories, stories, kids. I'd rather kiss a toad than whatever that thing is. I'm done with her snoring and fighting in the bed. So you're something of a beauty, beauty, and you're something of a total beast. What is the reality of living with someone who's completely different from you? Horrible. I wake up every morning with a furball in my mouth. She might be a beauty, but she stinks between her butt and her armpits. 
Your recent Do It album did not sell well and your fashion label has gone bust. What's next for you two lovebirds? Lovebirds, who put that in your mouth? First of all, we're not lovebirds and we're waiting to final that divorce. Thanks for your time, Beauty and the Beast. I wish you all the best in the future. Back to the studio. Thanks, Lockie. Now it's time for for a faraway land weather update with Jackson, who will have the fairest weather of them all this week. <coughs> Thank you, Kiara. Well, it'll be a mix of fair and fair for the faraway kingdom this week. Oh, and the north. <laughs> there'll be gumdrops, lolly bops, and rainbows for everybody. The sun will shine and birds will ch- sing from your shoulders until Tuesday. The deep dark forest will be deep and dark all week with occasional sunny spells and some witchy spells. Moving down the land, the green fields will be turned snow white. Overnight, on Wednesday, rip up warm. You're living in a house made of sticks, straw, or gingerbread because it will be fee fi fo freezing. Finally, Charles living under bridges in the west might want to be- find a beanstalk to climb up on Friday. Heavy rain will lead to flooding. Otherwise, it's happy ending to the working week for most of us. Thanks, Jackson. Thanks, Jackson. That's all for tonight, although we <laughs> have just had <laughs> word with that big bad wolf escape has escaped jail since our interview. He is hungry, (coughs) angry and on the prowl. Keep your doors locked. Stay safe for the whole team. (laughs) At once, upon a crime. Good Good night! night. (laughs) (laughs) We did so bad.